speaking with those students, the one thing, those that are interested in sports and they want to be in front of the camera, I give them the hardcore truth. Because you know, I'm in the industry. I see what goes on. I see what ESPN, ABC, NBC, how fast they turn them out and how fast they let them go. And it's all about, you know, the ESPN right now philosophy is not to build their programming image on the talent but on the content that's being delivered. So they don't want to, those days of, you know, those sports personalities of the Stuart Scotts and Boomer and all of those folks, and, and, and even Hannah, you know, Hannah was going through a rough, rough time because she was losing her positioning because she wanted to be that sports center anchor. Well, they said, we need you to do features, tell the real stories behind the scenes. Bob Lee, same thing. You know, he, he was behind the lines, you know, inside the lines. All of those people are recognizable for specific shows they work on. So what I tell the college students now is, if you want to be an on-air personality, create your own YouTube channel, create your own screen, show how good you are, and now use marketing and promotion to put yourself out there so someone sees you around the country. Then start developing your on-camera, in front of camera skills by doing it on social media and then promoting it, marketing it, putting it out there. On Instagram, hashtag them. Hashtag San Antonio Spurs. If you don't use the creative hashtags and put your stuff out there so that it falls into that community that's using that hashtag, they're not going to see you. So by doing that and putting his personality out there, he gets a call out of the blue to come to San Antonio to work for them on a trial basis. They flew him from Florida, they put him up for four days, and he said, well, what are they gonna pay me? I said, whatever they decide to pay you, you don't say no to it, they're covering all the expenses to get out there. Well, he made for like three days, they gave him five grand, that's a steal. But for him, that's good money. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, congratulations on being a uh, high school teacher of the quarter at uh, Seabreeze High School. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, one of Bruce's uh, students from Daytona State College. Um, and uh, Bruce, actually, I have a question for you. I probably have asked you this in the past. But uh, how did the Irish students come to our television station at WDSC TV 15? Because you had an international draw there. And I don't know the background story behind that. Well, one of the things that we were looking for was to develop curriculum for international students. I got involved with Sky TV several years ago, and, um, just from a fall. But the school was developing an international program, and they made a connection with Sky TV, and they figured, how do we integrate this group of Irish kids into the public television station so that we can teach them marketing, and promotions so that they can take this back to their country. This was uh, around 2005. What the whole experiment was in Ireland was they wanted to develop a media program in Ireland to produce their own sports and produce their own product with Irish students. Now, the experiment was they were using a combination of Catholic and Protestant students working together. Now, if you knew the conflict of Ireland, that was a challenge unto itself. But I got to go over to Ireland and spend time over there three months out of the year for three years in a row and help develop that program and as part of it, bringing them to the United States and having them as students for three months at Daytona State College. Well, that's what we did is we taught them how to produce, direct, create content, using sports, doing documentaries, storytelling, all of that help them write a grant for the Irish government, and they have since developed their own broadcasting school over in Ireland. So as a consultant, they asked me, and they call me you know, once or twice every year, and they'll have me on via telephone or via some technology, working with them online to help further that, uh, that program. Whatever you have access to to go live streaming, that's what you use. If it's Facebook Live, use Facebook Live. But like I said earlier, we 
make sure you promote the fact that you're going to do it on Facebook Live so that you can generate an audience. YouTube, if you have the capability, develop a YouTube channel, and if you have an encoder so that you can do it in real time quickly, then do it through a YouTube channel. Yeah, I belong with Arian and on our cable channel, and there are people that are watching hit us within moments that uh, you aren't supposed to be running that. So we have we have students who are uh, are uh, there to black that out before the PGA people can catch us. So you got to be factoring those things. You have to make sure you have the rights and clearances right. to to do certain things because, like I said, I'm working with a bunch of high school kids that will rip music and do a conversion to from MP4, MP3 in a heartbeat and then slap the music to go in the media on Adobe Premiere. They'll go into Adobe Premiere, strip the audio, try to muck it up a little bit, make it sound like it's not original. And I go, no. no. I'm certain to speak, uh, our guests will be available for any other additional comments or questions in the back. Talk. Talk. We can grab a and I appreciate your attendance at an 830.